The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh, have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taking by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So, my friends, having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 102, NASDAQ up 6, SPs up 4.5, gold contract flat, 14.62 an ounce. We'll get silver down 8 cents, $16.98 an ounce, light sweet crude off 63 cents, $57.95 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 years flat at 129.15. 30 years up five at 159.28. King dollar. King dollar caught a bit out here, up 287 ticks, trade 98.280. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 108.64. And the pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What we have out here, folks, is basically flat markets uh, all week. Uh, you hit a high out here on Tuesday. Uh, bottom line, we started the, the week out at a 312 level on the SPY. We got up to uh, 312.69. We're at a 310.89 right now. We take this and we put this on a weekly basis. And bottom line is that what you have out here is that the high of last week, uh, it was the 311.84, bottom line, you had light volume. We get light volume this week. You get a sideways market move out here. NDX100, let's take a look at the three Qs because we did get um, a little volatility and a little down move on Wednesday. That was all about the NDX100. And you can see it in spades inside the volume characteristic. Um, when we came down on the Qs on Wednesday, we came, well, first off on Tuesday, you made a high. We made that high with 36 million shares, and bang, you come down. I'm sorry, we made the high with 16, one six, 16 million shares, and you come down with 36 million. We take that and we put this on a weekly basis, and what you're going to see out here uh, on, in the SPY, I mean, on the Qs, is that you got over the high. Last week, we had volume uh, of uh, 76 million. 202.91 was the it was the high. We get to a higher high. We have 101 million shares. So you get a, you have an expansion of volume, but that's not even close enough to big volume. Bottom line, gave it up on price. Got a small rollover. Realistically, flat market. Small caps. Small caps are still showing that they have zero strength out here. You get a sideways move. Small caps. Their high is a is Jan, July of 2018. Right now. The IWM is trading at a price point of $158.30. That high that we're talking is $173. Now, the top of the consolidation inside the IWM and the Russell 2000 is pretty intense. I mean, we've been in the same consolidation uh, for one full year. Um, pretty wild. We've stayed at the top of the consolidation for the past three weeks. The top of the consolidation, when you look at the IWM, is 161. That being said, guess what? Now, this is really subtle this week, but what you actually have is that you tried to get to a lower low and you had a slight expansion of volume. 72 million shares traded. Uh, we made a high two weeks ago of 71 million shares, and we're talking about a high that couldn't get through 
the last high that was out there with 114 million. So you can see you don't have buyers inside the small caps whatsoever. Um, when we, May, it's May, the week of May 10th, we try to get to higher price to try to bust through the downdraft that was vicious out here last October. You had 114 million, couldn't handle it. The, I, the small caps went from 161 down to 145. We got back up there with 71 million versus the 114. It's a big heads up, man. And that heads up would be that you get a small rollover that's happening. Next week, coming into a holiday week, bottom line, I expect you're going to see sideways markets. What does happen, the schedule next week goes like this. You have three full days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, off Thanksgiving, and a half a day on Friday. What I have seen on uh, 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 the Friday after Thanksgiving, I've seen them push that market uh, to heavy-duty extremes uh, in a huge way. There's no doubt about it, because guess what? No one's at work on Friday. That's what ends up happening. So... It's be thin markets out there. We'll see whether they, where they're going to decide to push this market. Uh, notes. Well, here, let's go to the copper market first, because what's happening here is that copper is basically sticking its head up again, saying that it wants higher price. Um, we've been kind of laying out here. Yeah, we've been laying out here for like six months at the 264 level. Caught a bit out here today. And if you want to see, if you go to FCX, Freeport, Mac Marina. Now, this is copper, oil, you know. Uh, but this little baby's been on the move. You know, we come off a low here of uh, eight dollars and forty-three cents. You're eleven six, eleven thirty-seven. Uh, you get a swing high out here, eleven fifty-seven, and we hit eleven forty-eight today. Now I'm glad it didn't basically break that area out here today because uh, I expect this is going to be like a small, a, or a good size ABC up on the way. Actually, uh, Freeport Mac Moran looks like it made a bottom about two months ago. Uh, you get a nice spike that we had. A couple weeks ago, and that's saying that Freeport McMoran does want to go up to that $14 area. And if that's the case, we would have to see copper continue to go higher. In fact, let's go, we'll take a look at Southern Copper because Southern is the largest copper company in the world, SCCO. Southern Copper out here today, up 85 cents. Yeah, that's a nice setup. These, co these copper equities, folks, copper's going to make a move. Um, it looks like next week's the you know Southern Copper in three months we've gone from twenty nine dollars to thirty seven. It's going to go after this B point of an ABC structure thirty eight dollars and fifty eight cents. You hit thirty eight eleven out here today. If we put this on a weekly, yeah, same setup. It's getting to the top of its range again, and we'll see whether it can bust that range. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. Uh, pretty amazing, actually, when we look at this. Uh, there's no doubt, uh, you know, right now on the ten year. The 10-year is at 1.771 um, yield, that is. Uh, price, we're at 129.15. We hit 130.02. I expect we're going to be going right after that 132 level. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 102. NASDAQ up 10. S&P's up 5. We'll come right back.